In this video, let's try to open the door. When player touch the door, it shows a message. Press E to open the door. Press E key, that door will open, and player can go through it. At first, we have a player and a door. Door is blocked with colliders. Player cannot go through it. We're going to move this door to another position that player can enter. We have the left door and right door here, and they have their own box collider already. And they are inside an empty object with name door. At the box collider for this parent object. When player touch this collider, press E key, door will be open. Edit this box collider to cover on the door area. And make sure its trigger is checked. Next, add a new tab, door, in case your game has many doors. Add this tag to our door. You can rename it any names you want now. Next, select your player to add new visual scripting script. I will name it door. Use on trigger enter to check if player is inside door area. Check if player is touching with a collider with tap door. If this true, add this object to a variable. Create new variable name near door with value true or false and another variable door object for the object player touching if this is true variable near door will be true and variable door object is the object player is touching. Otherwise, if player exit from a door area, variable near door will be false. Player enter a door area shows a message. I will show this message to the debug log. You can show this message to center of the screen if you want. Press E to open door. Press play to see the result. Door collider work well. A message was sold. Player is inside a door area and that door object is sold here too. Now, press button E, the door near player will be open. If button E is pressed, 
or event open door. and check variable near door to see if player is touching a door. If it's true, open this door. To open a door, let's move it to another position. This one has two doors, left and right, to open at the same time. If you have one door only, you can open it with changing its rotation. Select door left to add a variable for a new position. Name it Open Position with a Factor 3 value. Now move to the position when it is open and copy this position to the Factor 3 values. Do the same for another door. I'm going to add more variable for each door. Name it open type. If you want to open door with position, its value will be position. Add this variable to another door too. Next, I will create another door to open with rotation. This we have only one door. When player opens, it will rotate angle 90 degrees. Change variable name to open rotation. And as its new values when door is open. This one we have open type is rotation. back to our script. Add a flow variable. Put door object to this variable. This will be the parent object of doors. Next, let's find and get each door object inside this parent object. This will work even that has one door or two doors to open. Add each door object to a flow variable to easier to call them. Each door will be the child of parent object. Use get child to get the child object. After get door object, compare open type value. If its value is position, apply value from variable open position. We use this way to get an object variable value from another object. Compare open type to see if it's position or rotation. To move door with position, we use set local position because this door is inside another object. If it's position, apply new value from open position. Next, let's compare if open type is rotation. If its value is rotation, 
apply new value from variable open rotation. To apply new rotation, use set local Euler angles because this door is inside another parent object. Apply new value from variable open rotation. All done. You can download this script under video. With this one, it will work with all doors you have in your games. Press play to see the final result. It works well with opening doors with position. Work well with another door with rotation too. Thank you for watching.